In this video, I will show you the best NVIDIA control panel settings to boost FPS, get lower input delay, and improve the overall performance of your PC for gaming and performance. I am also going to show you guys the best method to install NVIDIA graphics card drivers to get max FPS and lowest input latency. We are going to optimize your NVIDIA GPU and make sure that everything is set up correctly in the NVIDIA control panel. This video will help you drastically boost FPS, so please stay tuned guys and if you don't have an NVIDIA GPU, then you can check out the Intel optimization guide and the AMD optimization guide that I have made to optimize your GPU and get max FPS. All the links will be in the description of this video, so go ahead and check those out. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments down below as I try my best to get back to each and every one of you. And if you want to support my work, please don't forget to leave a like on this video. It will only take you guys a second and it will help me out so so much. And without any further ado, let's get straight into today's video. So starting off, I'm going to show you guys how to properly download and install the NVIDIA drivers so that you can get max FPS and lowest input latency. So go ahead and open up your browser and search for GeForce drivers. Go ahead and open up the first link which will take you to the official GeForce drivers website. Once you are here, all you guys need to do is go ahead and put in the information for your graphics card and then go ahead and click on start search. After the search is completed, go ahead and look for the driver results and download the driver that you want. Now many people argue over what driver is best and that does basically depend on your hardware. However, if you asked me and the driver that has worked best for me is the 457.30. Now this doesn't mean that it will work the best for you, however it's still worth to give it a try. So once you have selected any of these drivers or if you want to download this one, just go ahead and choose whichever driver you want, then go ahead and click on download. So after you are done downloading the driver, it should look something like this. And now it's time to install the driver, but we are not going to be simply installing this one like usual, but instead I'm going to show you guys a much better way to uninstall the older drivers and also install the new ones without any bloatware. So in order to do that, what you guys will need to do is download the Regnetic NVIDIA Pack 2021. And in order to download the pack, go into the description of this video and click on the link for the NVIDIA driver pack, which will take you to my website right here. Just click on this link right here. And if you're watching this video in the future and can't find it on the top, what you can do is go ahead and click on this search icon and search for NVIDIA, which should take you to this one. Just look for this thumbnail, open it up, then go ahead and scroll down and click on the download button right here which will take you to the media fire page just click on download button right here and it should download the pack keep in mind that there are some ads on this website which do support this channel and me myself as a creator so if you don't want any of these ads you can use an ad block but if you want to support me in the easiest possible way just go ahead and close the ads and continue with the download so once you have downloaded go ahead and right click on it and extract it using 7-zip finrar or even the windows generic extractor so once the pack has been extracted Go ahead and open it up. Go into the first folder that is the DDU and this is the display driver uninstaller application which we are going to be using in order to properly uninstall our NVIDIA drivers. So right click on it, run it as administrator, hit no, go ahead and hit ok and if any of these options open up just go ahead and click on close ok once again then go ahead and select the driver type and set it to gpu it should automatically select your nvidia gpu but if it doesn't then just go ahead and click on nvidia once that is done we want to click on clean and do not restart this may cause issues like black screen as it says here but that's only temporary for a couple of seconds and then you will be good to go so just go ahead and click on the clean and do not restart and it should start the process right here just wait for it to finish the uninstall process and then we can move on to the next step. So now as you can see that the driver uninstall process has completed. So click on yes and then it will close the window. And now it's time to install new clean drivers without any bloatware. So open up the pack once again. Go into the nvclean install folder, right click on the nvclean install.exe and run as admin. This is the program that we are going to be using in order to remove the bloatware from our driver package and install completely clean drivers. So click on the use driver files on disk, then go ahead and hit browse and navigate to the driver that you downloaded. I put it on my desktop so that's where it is. Then click on open and then go ahead and click on next. So once you guys are here, what I recommend is just go ahead and hit next once again. But if you are someone who uses NVIDIA GeForce Experience or maybe the shadow play feature, then you might want to go ahead and check those features. Keep in mind that it will also check some of the other features that are required alongside maybe shadow play or GeForce Experience. So yeah, just keep that in mind. And once you are done checking anything that you want, click on next. For me, I personally recommend not checking anything and just leaving the display driver required as it is. Then click on next and then it is going to unpack the installer. Once that is done, go ahead and check the disable installer telemetry and advertising. Click on the unintended express installation. Uncheck allow automatic reboot if needed. Perform clean installation. 
show expert tweaks and then just go ahead and check all these three. Pause the video and copy all of these settings then click on next. Once the whole process is completed and our package is completely bloat free, go ahead and click on install. Then just let the installation of the graphics drivers complete. If this message pops up which is completely fine because we did modify the driver installation package, just go ahead and click on the install this driver software anyway and then it will complete the driver installation. Alright so the installation process has completed, we can close out of this now and we are done with the installation of our new drivers. So now we are going to be using the NVIDIA Profile Inspector in order to apply the hidden settings inside of our NVIDIA Control Panel to boost performance and lower the latency. So in order to do that, open up the pack once more, go into the NVIDIA Profile folder, right click on the NVIDIA Profile Inspector.exe and run as admin. Once the Profile Inspector opens up, go into the folder once again and now open up the Recnetix Profile folder. So once you are here, just drag the Recnetix NVIDIA Profile.nip over to the NVIDIA Inspector and then it will import the settings then click on ok go ahead and hit our apply changes and that's basically it also a huge thanks to tom for helping me with some of these settings and also providing me with his nip as a reference so that i can modify some of the settings that i did not know about i will leave the link to his twitch channel down below in the description so make sure that you guys go ahead and check him out and show him support so basically i've changed a lot of different settings inside of here which are not visible in the nvidia control panel alongside some fortnite settings that can only be changed from the nvidia profile inspector so once you have hit the apply changes close out of the inspector and that's basically it now we move on to the best nvidia control panel settings so now moving on to the best nvidia control panel settings right click on your desktop open up the nvidia control panel so once you are here go into the adjust image settings with preview click on the use my preference set this to performance then go ahead and click on the use the advanced 3d image settings and click on apply once done click on take me there and you will notice that most of these settings have been already pre-applied. The reason for that is because we use the NVIDIA Profile Inspector to change most of these settings. But there are some that I want to talk about. First up is the low latency mode. So for most of the people you would always want to turn it on. However if you are playing Fortnite and using the low latency mode inside of the game then you might want to just keep it off as the setting inside of the game will override this one anyways but still you should keep it on. Another one is the OpenGL rendering GPU. Scroll down and set it to your graphics card instead of the auto select and then what you want to do is just go ahead and click on apply. Once that is done click on the change resolution and inside of here just make sure that you have selected the proper resolution resolution and selected the highest refresh rate available for you. Once again hit apply, go into the adjust desktop color settings, click on use nvidia settings and this is basically personal preference but I like to keep the digital vibrance at 70% as that's what I find to be most appealing for me and for my videos. So hit apply, hit yes, then go ahead and click on the adjust desktop size and position. Now this one is an important setting, so inside of here go ahead and set the select scaling mode to no scaling and perform the scaling on to display. Then go ahead and uncheck the override the scaling mode set by games and programs and click on apply. Once that is done, go ahead and click on the adjust video color image settings, check the with the NVIDIA settings, advanced, set to full, hit apply once again, hit yes, and that's basically it. Now you guys want to close out of the NVIDIA control panel and we are done. All that you guys need to do right now is go ahead and open up your start menu, go ahead and restart your PC and bam, you are completely done with clean installing bloat free NVIDIA drivers, setting up the correct settings inside of the NVIDIA control panel and getting more performance. I will also link other useful guides that will actually help you with gaining more FPS and lowering the input delay in the description of this video so make sure to check those out. If you have any questions feel free to drop them in the comments down below, I try to reply to every single one of your questions and also if this video helped you then make sure to leave a like down below, it would help me out so so much and also subscribe to the channel if you guys want to see more of these videos. With that I guess I'll see you guys in the next one, until then stay awesome.